Hey everyone, in this lesson uh, we are going to uh, go to the next step which is uh, calculation objects. In the last lesson we added the luminaires to all of our areas to satisfy the lux required. Now as you know uh, when we uh, select any of these rooms when we did the uh, lighting design itself such as in an office for example you can see here in the estimate calculator gives us 550 lux which is close to what is required okay remember that this one this is just an estimation not the actual calculation just an estimation now what should i do now now we are going to do the next step which is calculation in order uh, to make sure that our luminaire satisfies the conditions required how can we do this simply we can go to the calculation objects like this okay and then if you would like to do the entire project simply click on entire project to start calculation like this click here and you'll see here it's starting the calculation for all of our areas okay so when this finishes we will see the values uh, of lux and the uh, uniformity in each uh, room and we have to make sure that all of the rooms uh, satisfy the lux required and the um, uniformity required okay so let's see here now as you can see this is the results overview when you click on it like this you can see the results produced as you can see here the green one means that uh, everything is good okay everything is good in this location okay so as you can see here um for the uh, for example the transformer rooms as you can see 290 lux which is uh, close to what is required and as you can see the uniformity is at least uh, 0.5 greater than 0.5 so the transformer rooms here are correct design okay the corridor as you can see of course satisfies the same lux 126 lux however as you can see the uniformity is less than uh, 0.5 okay so there are some regions which are uh, dark and other regions which are bright okay so we need to start designing the corridor again okay so remember why do we need to design it because of the uh, uniformity as you can see this area this area uh, is darker than here okay this is really really far so as you can see if we come close here you can see the lux 50 okay 50 lux here and here as you can see 125 150 here 200 so as you can see the difference between um, minimum and the maximum is very large that's why the uniformity is pretty low okay so we need to design the corridor once more okay the kitchen the problem with the kitchen of, of course 0.5 larger than the required uniformity however the kitchen lux is less than 500 so we need to add more luminaires okay for the meeting room this meeting room 500 and 0.5 okay good all of this uniformity are good um this is the lux required stairs um work plan of the store you can see the uniformity is low so we need more luminaires here the wc is close to 0.5 so it does not really matter as you know wc uh, not important to see every object okay so it's pretty pretty close to 0.5 so it we can accept this one okay so as you can see the problem work plan in the store here we need to increase the uniformity here the kitchen we need to increase the lux and corridor okay so let's start solving this problem so the first one is the store so let's go here to this store uh, in the light uh, tab select this one then increase the quantity instead of uh, two luminaires we will have three in the x-axis like this okay the result will become invalid the result which is produced then we'll click yes because we are going to change it so as you can see the lux is higher but don't worry we are going to do this calculation again okay okay now for the kitchen for the kitchen we can make it um if we make it three for example like this okay we will have very large lux 
okay so what can we do here for this kitchen what we can do is that we can uh, choose the previous one if you remember it okay um here we can select it and click on uh, like this click on delete uh -huh. like this click on delete okay then this is the active luminaire select another one um this two are waterproof this one as you can see 23s this one is 18s so let's choose 18s like this okay then automatic arrangement choose kitchen same as what we did in the previous lesson okay so as you can see the lux 550 we will see the uniformity first and the lux okay um now let's see the corridor here the uniformity is uh low why because there is a very here very dark region very dark region and very bright region here so what we can do is simply we can delete all of this uh, then I choose a rectangular arrangement for this area like this okay uh, using the tbs um, here we will have a 654 very large uh, lux okay so we can make um, for example one like this uh, no three and this one is uh, one like this you can see lux 200 okay we will see it now after we do the calculation um, rectangular arrangement here like this in this region okay um it shows here one and for example uh, let's say two okay like this here lux 180 so let's make this one the same point here um, make it two instead of one like this 150 lux okay so now we uh, divided the corridor into this region and this region so this region does not become a dark and this region does not become dark we will see if this will satisfy the uniformity or not and for the kitchen we increase the number of luminaires using a lower uh, lux and here we increased uh, 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 using lower uh, lumens and here we increase number of luminaires okay so let's do the calculation again like this entire project okay and see what will happen now let's see the results okay so as you can see here for the okay transformers the same corridor you can see the corridor having 150 lux okay it doesn't matter the most important is uniformity as you can see it increased than before it was before 0.2 now we have it as 0.6 okay which is acceptable of course the excess amount of lux not really important in the corridor okay the most important is uniformity okay the meeting room okay how about the store the store this one store store 193 lux however the uniformity is still pretty lower we need it close to 0.5 okay okay so we need to solve this one the store again and the uh, kitchen kitchen still we need more lux okay okay um so let's close this one get back here okay so as you can see you keep start designing like this okay four multiplied by two let's make it three multiplied by three to increase it by just one luminaire okay like this three multiplied by three okay so it increased 611 okay here for the store the problem is uh uniformity right 100 lux 193 okay um here this one what can we do okay in this one we can choose another one okay or another uh, type why because as you can see one two three three luminaires they produce nearly double the lux okay number the lux and does not satisfy the uniformity so we can use more number of luminaires with lower uh, lumens okay so as you can see this is 28 how about this one this one is um 
as I remember 1200 okay so let's first take this one and delete like this and then select this other one uh, then automatic arrangement like this okay only 250 lux um, using TBS okay let's make it three for example three uh, gives us 217 okay let's see this first then um, we will see if this is correct or not okay okay now let's see um, here okay let's see first uh, you can see all of them are green because the lux is uh, satisfied in all of the region however you can see also in the store is still uh, 214 lux okay and the uh, very large lux and at the same time low uh, uniformity okay so we need another one okay another type you can leave it as it is you can say it's close to 0.5 but we would like to make it more accurate okay so how can we do this okay let's choose another one let's take this one and delete okay now let's go and select catalogs uh, Philips okay we try to satisfy the requirement as we can um, here it says then we are going to choose an LED with lowest amount of flux like this okay let's uh, for example choose this one okay like this okay this one having our 1500 lumens okay so let's see this one okay let's see this one we click on add then we start uh, design using it okay so we'll see automatic arrangement here in the store we have only three this three gives us 124 so let's make it um, four for example like this okay and as you can see here in the x-axis y-axis um, okay 163 okay let's see this okay let's see this first then we will see the uniformity okay let's see now here we are looking for the store you can see also the store still uh, point to the uniformity why because as you can see we need to make it in the x-axis okay we need to make it in the x-axis that's what we have to remember okay so we select this again and make it to y okay and make it another here too and in this case we will choose for example um three multiplied three let's see what will happen very large lux let's make it um three multiplied by two like this and see what will happen okay now let's see you can see here that the store became 0.5 and at the same time 218 lux okay which is a pretty close to what we need okay so 0.5 is acceptable and 218 is also acceptable this is the only solution which i have uh using this amount of lumineers okay you can also use a higher amount of lux or higher amount of lumens lower amount of lumineers in order to satisfy this um uh, requirement of uh, 150 lux or 200 lux so you have to do this or do the trial and error okay the most important thing is you you should not be less than the required lux okay so anyway as you can see all of them are green so it means we are satisfying all of the requirement okay so in this lesson we learned how to um, do the calculation inside dialects evo and make sure that everything is correct okay